Gus, Cruz, Manny, and Prada. So again, Oklahoma Christian, they are your number one seed in Nace, but do they have the skills to take down our St. Clair roster? The paper certainly says that they do. And now Prada and Cruz are going to look to add on to that statement as they take down Seawads and Enslea, but Kudi going to get Manny back. Yeah, Christian. Oklahoma Christian gonna start off on the front foot. 30 points and counting Kudi will find a pick onto Gus Snow. Finds a second onto Manny Cruz. Does find a trade onto Kudi, but Saints have the numbers advantage here. Nacho picks up one. One more member alive left here. No, it looks like he got cleaned up as well. Saints will finally get a foot on the hard point. Now, as you can see, Oklahoma Christian waiting quite a long time to start any sort of push. Rupert finds the opening frag. Does get traded out, but that's a good start for the Saints. Getting back into this one. Another trade. Nacho Manny gonna find the one. Nacho finding a second. Can he stay alive here? No. Prada will find that one. It looks like Saints will go for one final contest here. Ruper doesn't find that kill. Nice shots from Prada. It's going to be the first lead after the first Harper going to Oklahoma Christian. Right, I mean, Cootie was dealing with honestly what looked like a 1v3 down at the bottom of the map as the reposition now comes in from both sides. They're trying to see who can get to that hard point first. It's going to be St. Clair, but they have to set up the trophy system as fast as Util starts dropping in. It's going to be a Semtex that takes out a player on the side of Oklahoma Christian. Prada falling to the side of Ruper. Oh, Ruper. As well, finding a double. Seawad's able to find one as well. Manny oh, trying Manny. to clean up house. He's got two to his name, and he's keeping the Saints just off the back foot. Flank on Gus is massive as well, as it's all going to be all Oklahoma Christian Saints. Don't have those good spawns anymore, as they do get full control of the point, Oklahoma. And it's going to be 30 seconds left on this hard point and ticking. It's going to be one final attempt here from the Saints. They find one, but the trade comes out. Nice shots there from Cruz and Manny. And I don't think Saints have a way of getting to this one, but Nacho finds another one. Ruper on this flank, should be able to find one more, doesn't seem to find it, does get stunned up. It's gonna be hard to find anything, but does find a kill, does get traded out. It's gonna be the lead still in Oklahoma Christian's favor, but Saints definitely putting up a great fight. Right, I mean, you got the x and Ace, which is the odd champions going up against the oh. seed. Nacho, able to claw oh. the third. Switch it up to the Renetti. Nacho going absolutely wild. St. Clair, take the point. And Nacho's close to those streaks now. Those are crucial against the very best teams. Could be decisive. Let's see if Nacho can pick those up. Nacho and Ruper finding three there. Nice shots yet again. I think Nacho's one kill away. Kuri does get tanked now by Gus, but Saints finally take the lead. And Oklahoma Christian have not been able to find anything on this hard point so far. Saints have had all 30 seconds. Ruper finally get another one popping off here. Looking for a second one. Find it, but Nacho finds one. Does fall down. I'm not sure if he got those streaks. Kudi though finds the trade. Maddie does get taken down by Kudia Saints. Looks like they're going to get all 60 seconds on this hard point. Right, that's absolutely huge. And I was just going to say, when you have two teams of this caliber facing off, you could very easily, Theo, see this game or this series going to five games. So, like we say before, we're just going to have to see how this one plays out. Rupert, underneath the car, has one. It's going to be Cootie who helps him pick up. Oh! oh! Rupert, with the flick, gets on to Cruz, but Gus shutting him down. Seawads with the refrag as well, though. And St. Clair, they're still maintaining possession of this hardpoint. They're doing an absolutely beautiful job. And they spotted Prada. Yes, they have. Cootie able to cut his head off and now there's this player on the top of the truck see Seawatch Seawatch through the window I don't think the player in Cruz knows exactly where he is he's taking oh. out and he's gonna be able to find the quick peek a great job around the minivan and Seawatch is standing strong on this hard point and Cootie is going absolutely off on a five streak now all the Saints just streaking here as they're annihilating Oklahoma Christian University Rupert goes for that swing doesn't find a Cruz will look for the shots and Seawatch finds one so many trades coming out but in the end it's still all green for the Saints Seven streak for Kuri. He's doubled up on those streaks there from the look of things as he has all that's needed to take control of the next hard point. Saints going to be up huge amounts here and they're almost 100 bombing the number one seed. Right, I mean, Kuri is just picking up right where he left off. 12 and 5 so far. Rupert helping him out. 14 and 9. And Seawads as well with that 43 seconds. All Saints actually above 30 seconds on objective time. It's going to be Manny and Cruz though to help clean up. And now Oklahoma Christian with a hard point of their own. Let's see how they hold against the Saints attack. It is going to be Nacho who's trying is. to find the Pred missile on to Gus and he will be successful. Prada and Manny cleaning up though. Cody the refrag though on to Manny oh. and now Prada able to cut him down. A great job there as trades go back and forth but it's going to be Oklahoma Christian on the winning side. Another Gus one. Able to have a pick as well. 
Again, Seawads, and now another Fred missile yet again, straight onto the hard point. It's going to clear it out. It's going to be Gus getting taken down, and now St. Clair should be able to take advantage of the fact that it's uncontested. This time's huge, and they can just find maybe a couple picks to keep. Oklahoma Christian off the hard point. They can try to reposition for another one, but no, Oklahoma Christian just able to retake and try to find just a couple of extra points before this hard point changes up. But both teams now knowing exactly where they have to be on the top of the map. It's going to be Oklahoma Christian who have to be in the middle now, and they have control so far. For that entire point, Oklahoma Christian definitely outplaying the Saints. The only reason that lead didn't shrink is because of those two kill streaks. But now Cootie finds one, finds the second Rudy. Uh, Rupert does pick up Manny as well, so it's gonna be just one member left alive for Oklahoma Christian's Cruz. Finds one, finds a second in the 1v3, and that's gonna give Oklahoma Christian a lot of time to come back onto this point. Cootie, fancy feet around the corners here, finds wow. one, and Slayer finds a second. Cootie looking to find a third, nice kill there. Now in another five streak, almost has another Hellstorm missiles. Rupert finds Cruz. Cruz looks for a pick onto the second, does not find it, but Saints doing a great, great job of finding all these picks. He was, let's fall down. Kuri wants to find this one last kill to get that kill streak, but Saints get these points stacking and they continue to take the lead. Right, I mean, is the Saints player aware of the player by playing behind the door? No, it's going to be Manny who's just able to oh, find Kuri the dies. last pick again on that slide cancel. Great job there. The Saints player was uh -oh. aware of the positioning, but they are not aware of Seawads who's going to be able to take the life of Gus and is able to just try to enter this complex now. Just jumping up with the bunny hops not able to get Prada though he will come out on the winning side of that trade Good spawns for Saints. and now Prada spawns he has to try to do it with this 1v2 and he's gonna do just wow. that Prada a great job despite being traded out he's already done all the damage he needed to in that scenario Rupert looking to add on a little bit more Gus it's doubles all around three players now getting doubles left right and center oh. Cootie trying to add to his own but no Prada shuts him down trades going back and forth Prada with yet another double Oklahoma Christian they're really narrowing the gap right now on the points and St. Clair they got to be careful they got to start getting some caps soon yeah Saints do have the good spawns though so even through brute force one for one trades it's better for them but still Oklahoma Christian doing a great job of coming back into this game but Nacho gonna find a couple looks for the third Cootie's gonna pick that one up Saints will get this garbage time but now they need to rotate as soon as possible Nacho does not find that kill onto Gus it's gonna be Oklahoma Christian with the good spawns Prada does find a kill onto a teammate there Saints pick up the last of the garbage time now it's gonna be a big push on this retake Oklahoma Christian have a good setup but Prada is the first to fall they Give Saints a lot of room to work with, but it looks like Manny is in a beautiful position. Takes down Seawads now. The clock is ticking for the Saints. They need to make a play here to get back on this side. Cootie and Nacho are going to be the first two to find picks, and all four members from Oklahoma City Christian will fall down. Saints have control of the hard points. They look to keep the lead going. Right again, this is going to be a big play right now from Nacho. Can he nice. find two? Yes, he and can. He a third, the reload, maybe. It's going to back be Seawads who saves the day, though, has his teammates back. It's going to be Nacho again Five. with another pick on the Renetti. Dancing around the truck now. His position is known, but he's going to be picked up by Cootie. Streak. He has Cruz as well. And now Cootie playing around. He's going to find one off the Semtex. Nacho getting cleaned up by Manny. Manny on a double right now. Seawads picking up Cruz. It's any man's game so far. St. Clair, they've done a great job so far of capitalizing off this hard point. But it's an even better job of Oklahoma Christian. They've rotated two players already to the next hard point. Cruise and missiles. they're just certainly going to wait for this one to play out. The Cruise missile should be used again. Last time Saints struggled in an open area like this. They used those cruise missiles to get back into this uh, fight, but looks like a couple of kills will come through. It will be controlled for Oklahoma City Christian. Doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, abilities used here. Manny finds Seawaz, and that's going to stop the Saints push. Oklahoma Christian in a great spot to come back into this game. They have full hold on this site. I'm not sure going to be the first one to fall on Saints. I mean, can't find anything. The setup from the side of Oklahoma Christian is so, so deadly. There's nothing the Saints can do. They're just getting picked off one by one by wow. one. It's all red. Five kills in a row now for Oklahoma Christian as they get themselves back into this game. Right, I mean, it's an absolute farm burner. Any man's game, as we talked about earlier, and with two minutes left to go, it's definitely going to come down to score. Saints now lighting up the kill board, but just as I say that, Prada able to find one, maybe two for his liking. No, lights up Cootie, or I believe lights up another player on the Saints, but won't be able to just find the 
kill, but now the rotation, new hard point. It's just a stalemate right now. The Saints gonna be the first ones to dive on it, but just as they do that, they're gonna give up first pick. Prada with one, and now the Saints, they're finding the trades. They're able to find two battles. Oh, but Cruz, Cruz with a double on the Renetti. Can he find the triple? No, not quite. Seawad's able to shut him down, but again, a great job there from Cruz. Five kills it's going streak. to be a pickup from Seawad's on a 5K, like you said, Theo. And so far, St. Clair, there's a cruise good. missile. Cruise missile coming down, and it's going to be from Nacho. It spells the end for Manny, but so far, it's just count punch, oh. counter punch the entire way through. We have streak. no idea who's going to win this right now. It's impossible to make a call in this game. Yeah, Seawad's on a seven spree now. We'll have, we'll have those advanced kill streaks available. You could see, and just doing God's work on this side. Eight streak now for Seawad's, who's going absolutely ballistic. Looks for the ninth kill there, but still, it's all green in the kill feed. Saints now putting themselves in one hard point away from taking the victory. That was an amazing hard point for them, and they are continuing their momentum. Up 210 to 171, only 40 points here. They're gonna have the first capture here. The push is gonna come through from Seawaz. He's gonna be able to stay alive in this corner, but does fall down to Prada. Nacho falls down as well as Prada finds the double kill, and that's gonna be everything that Oklahoma Christian need to get onto the site. Right, well, I mean, Prada's just throwing himself in there. He's died 30 times, but honestly, we're not talking about the deaths. He's had some massive moments so far in this game for Oklahoma Christian. He's one of the two guys, well, honestly, all of them. Oh, we're just no. giving them in there. And Cruz, Cooney, oh, he's they're alive. going absolutely insane. How is Cooney still living right now? Drops down the trophy. Is he aware of the player? Prada, oh. yes, he is on the escalator. Can he find the fourth? Yes, he can. Cooney going absolutely massive as he picks up his 36th kill. Yeah, it's absolutely insane game so far. Prada going to push in, gets shot in the back by Kuri Saints could be, get very close to closing off the map here. Won't be able to do it just yet, so the next hard point will be in play, but they will get all of this garbage time. You can see Oklahoma Christian could be setting up for the next point, but Saints have a couple kill streaks which could, which could just blow this defense up. Right, I mean, again, it's all Saints so far, but with seven points needed, it's still not over just yet. Oklahoma Christian are having to make an incredible hold if they want to try to make this game their own, but if it's going to be any team to do so, it's going to be them, the number one seed so far, ranked on Nace. We'll see if they got it in them. And so far, they have the control. They're one step of the way there, but there's lots of steps in the staircase to climb for them. Lots of steps, and Kuri gonna try and make it only one step. Nira here has the missile there. Can find one kill with a yes. That's a great start. Pruper finds another one, but Cruz does find a trade. It is good spawns here for the side of Oklahoma Christian, but Saints have just brute forced their way into this point. Five points away from winning now. It's gonna be Oklahoma Christian having to sprint into this one. Prada is on that one, does fall down. Maddie on one HP. Goes in there, is able to stay alive. Manny falls down. Gus finds a couple, one teammate included, but 248 and counting for the Saints. 249, one more second needed, and they are going to be able to find the first map against the one seed. They play a beautiful game of horror point and take the lead in the series. Well, if that was any, you know, showing of what we are in for. There you go. <laughs> so the way to put it there, every single player on the Saints having at least 25 kills. I mean, that was a crazy I, game. I really want to see that scoreboard because even on the side of Oklahoma Christian, quite impressive. You see Prada and Manny both over 30. I mean, just look at the number of deaths. The kills were just absolutely incredible. Cootie had 42 kills there. I mean, absolutely insane game from Cootie. I had him marked as the MVP from matchup number one. And man, if he really wants that double MVP on this double double night, he's sure as hell going to be able to be one step of the way there. Absolutely. I mean, that was just an insane map. And I think the fact the Saints win the first map in the series puts them on a great, a great pace to follow up. But now it's going to be their biggest test search and destroy. They did an amazing job in the last series, winning at 6-1. But I feel like this time against Oklahoma Christian, it won't be as easy. Right, I mean, again, like we said prior, we, I feel like this is the number one thing I always talk about is the fact that the Saints aren't uh, as good on SND as they are on the respawn game modes. We pointed it out earlier. Yeah. So again, there wasn't really much of a mention on it, or at least we didn't really see that translate into fruition in the first matchup as they did win their SD 6 to 1. So a great job there from the Saints. But again, this is not Cumberland. This is the number one ranked seed in Nace. So. You know, this S&D match, I mean, honestly, if I'm going to make a prediction right now, assuming the mental isn't shocked for a team like Oklahoma Christian, this is a map where I could very well see Oklahoma Christian taking off the Saints, having us 1-1 going into control. Who knows? It's not happened yet, but again, you know, 
I gotta think, it's anyone's game. I mean, last search and destroy the Saints played, they did play a very, very good search and destroy, so maybe they have found their way here, and maybe they can find the 2-0 series lead, but against the number one seed will definitely not be easy. What do you think is a key thing that they did so well last time that they need to do again to find the victory here? Right, I think what I really like to see out of the Saints was just how passive aggressive their play style was. It's not usually something we see. I'm usually used to the Saints either full sending it full house or the very reserved and let the picks come to them. But a round that I want to highlight was a round where we had the Saints getting a plant down on the A side, I believe I want to call it, on invasion. And again, they then pull back, they leave site, they bait Cumberland in uh, to the site. And when Cumberland is able to get through, they realize, oh no, the Saints are not here at all. They've already all vacated. They're already around and surrounding us. And I really love the way the Saints play retake, how they can kind of flip the script on other teams. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how they can do here. Saints going to be on the red side and it's going to be Oklahoma Christian on the green side again. Let's see how this round will start off. Saints on the defense for the first round. Oklahoma Christian on the attack. And it's going to be a great start for Oklahoma Christian. Rupert does fall down as that's going to open up that site for the side of Oklahoma. Right, and again, it is going to be Oklahoma Christian with the first two picks now as Cootie and Rupert both fall. Prada doing a good job there. And Nacho is going to be able to take down Prada. Cruz, Nacho, it is going to be the last alive now. Seawads on a 1v3 on the defensive side. He can play this slow. However, with the plant going down soon, it is going to have to put a time restriction on him. Again, I believe it is six or eight seconds to defuse in COD. So he doesn't have that much time. He has to start making some plays quick. First one potentially around here, but the slides being heard. They know exactly where his position is. The sound all they needed on the side of Oklahoma Christian. And despite what the graphic says, they will be the ones taking that first round. A great job on the attack so far for Oklahoma Christian. Really exploiting some of the Saints' mistakes early. Yeah, Oklahoma Christian doing a great job of taking that one there. And they're going to start off this search and destroy with a round win. Let's see how Saints decide to answer on the attacking side. Uh, you can see they got easy picks there. Prada definitely opening up that round for them. And even when Prada did fall down, the trade did come in. So maybe SND specialist Prada is with a great, great first round. Seawalds going to take a few shots here. Saints look like they want to push over towards this B site. Nacho will find the first pick. Does get taken down in return. So not going to be the biggest below there. Prada almost finding a kill there. Throws out the smoke and is going to play this aggressively. I like this play for Prada and is able to going to be able to take down Kuti. I don't think Saints were expecting this kind of aggression on the defensive side from the side of the Saints but Rupert finds a kill back. The plant isn't going to come down yet as Cruz has somehow ended up in the middle of everybody but missed a few. Crucial shots. Does find one. It's going to be taken down to one eight. HP will be traded out now. It's a one-on-one -on -one scenario, and it's going to be going towards the side of Oklahoma Christian as they just played their numbers perfectly. Right, I mean, again, Oklahoma Christian there doing a great job in the 1vx scenario, or in the 1vx scenario of not letting the 1 be able to take over the X. They're able to just double swing it as well, play off each other's contact, and again, a great job there. Oklahoma Christian, I gotta say, if it's any team that's gonna rival the Saints or even be above them in terms of trade power or trade awareness, it is going to be them, right? So, again, a good job there, and no surprise to me so far as we see Oklahoma Christian move up to 2 on SND. Yeah, Saints have a lot to work, uh, a lot of work to do here, but still, map is very, very far from over. Prada is going to have that SMG now, looking to start things off right for Oklahoma Christian. Flash doesn't hit, but Prada again finds the first pick, but Cootie with a collateral wow. finds a couple instantly back. That's going to swing the favor in the Saints, and now they're going to look to win this round. They have the three on two. The bomb is down as well. Gus will pick that one up uh, but Cootie finds his third of the round looking for the ace here it's gonna be only Gus left alive walking up mid and it's gonna be Siwaz finding that one a great round from the Saints as they finally put themselves on the board 
Right, and you know, again, crucial round from the Saints there, just showing they're down but not out. You know, the mental isn't shocked. And again, with only two rounds played, how could it be yet when you got a squad as good as this? Seawads able to find the last pick, but now this is the, probably, in my opinion, one of the most important rounds. You have a chance to tie things up two all, or you go down three one. And again, it's just a very, very mentally taxing round if you let it slip by the fingers of St. Clair. So Oklahoma Christian looking to potentially get the momentum swinging back onto their side. Saints looking to continue things up and draw it all at even, but only time will tell. Right now, the Saints are bomb. It's going to be Seawatts popping some shots down onto Cruz, but nothing going the way of anybody just yet. It's a very tense battle in the midfield right now, and you gotta assume that the Saints already have calls going out onto Cruz, and same thing on the reverse. But again, I think Cruz is in the worst position here because the Saints are all around him, and now Nacho in a even weirder position right now is he has to just kind of wait he's got two Oklahoma Christian defenders that he has to deal with and potentially just going to watch for the cross angles if they try to cross over to that A site where it seems like St. Clair are trying to mount a push it's going to be Melee. Rupert, though getting meleeed out by Cruz and Gus finding one of the Seawads as well the round turns absolutely disastrous from St. Clair a beautiful job from Oklahoma Christian and they're going to take that one 3-1 in what was probably in my opinion the easiest round so far absolutely I don't know how it melee came through <laughs> Someone didn't check their corner for sure, but a clean round from Oklahoma. They don't drop a single member. That's going to be a big momentum boost now. Saints just haven't found absolutely anything on their attacking rounds. As now they're going to be back on the defense day where they have had a little bit more success. Oklahoma Christian, though, looking to blow this game open and take a 4-1 lead. Right, I mean, so far, the players for Oklahoma Christian, I really got to give a special shout out to Prada and Cruz. They've just looked so locked this entire time. And I really like what I'm seeing out of Prada. He has so much confidence. We've seen him. He's not afraid to get aggressive with these Saints players, especially if he knows that they're isolated, right? Yeah. He has trust in his gun skill in these 1v1 scenarios. Oh. Nacho able to take down Manny, Bob's though. Down. Has eyes on a second one, and that's huge. Like you pointed out, Theo, the fuser's just gone cold. Yeah, the bomb is in the open, but Nacho does fall down the end. But Ruper finds a trade. 3v2 now for the Saints if they play their cards right. They have a huge, huge advantage in this round. But Cruz will pick up Kuri and the trade will not come through. 2v2 scenario now. Seawald is on a monster flank now. Can he find a kill here onto Cruz? I don't think he's bought him out just yet. Will have a great, great position here. I think whoever finds that kill between Cruz and Seawads will be the winner of the round. I don't think Cruz has any idea though that Seawads is all the way behind. That could lead to disaster. Gusto has the bomb on A site, even though Cruz has cleared out B site all by himself. And I think this is going to be an A plant coming out for the side of Oklahoma. Well, again, it's an absolutely masterful job there from Cruz to actually get this rotate all the way over. The Saints are just a little bit of a step too short. You would assume maybe on the long angle they were able to find it but no not quite and now because of that Oklahoma Christian able to get the bomb successfully planted it's now on the Saints for play oh, take, but it's going to be Seawaz to find the first one on. and now 1v2 scenario nice. they can play off each other's contact they don't even need to Ruper a great job there on entry finds the pick finds the defuse and finds St. Clair another round beautiful round there from the Saints in the 2v2 scenario found the opening pick and then when it's two on one just bomb rush the other guy take him out and they've won won a couple defensive rounds in a row now but they need to get something going on the attack if they want to get back into this game right I mean absolutely Theo I'm seeing right now that again like I said before it's anyone's game uh, this is probably going to be the closest S&D match we're going to see for a little while here regardless of whatever COD you're casting yeah. next so again I'm I'm just glad to be here, man. It's been a fire series so far, and we're going to look to just get things heating up even more. But right now, on the side of St. Clair, you got to think, on the side of these Saints, they have to find a way to shut down Prada and Cruz. So far, they've been running a little bit rampant. Seawads. There it is. Try to find one, but it's going to be Ruper onto Prada. Like you pointed out, that could potentially be a round-changing pick, and a great one so far. Great first blood for St. Clair. Yeah, now they're going to look to play off that. It looks like they might even consider rotating over to this a site manny does only have the rival nine not the best at this long range angle cruz though should have definitely had a kill yep. there that's the one he's gonna want back and now saints have the man advantage 
man. He's staying down to 1 HP. Still on 40 HP. 7 HP. Seawatts finds a shot. And Cruz falls as well. Oklahoma starting to fall apart here. Saints have the 4v1 scenario. Gus on the flank. We'll be looking for something. But Rupert finds him. A clean round from the Saints. Not a single member dropped as they tie it up at 3 apiece. Right, I mean, where the round goes all wrong there, it was looking actually somewhat okay for a second for Oklahoma Christian. They the, they shots. Had the potential. Again, it's that exactly right. It's going to be the miss on Cootie when he crosses over, and then Manny from the tank finds himself in a horrible position as he's you know, having to be wide out in the open, gets stunned, has to try to drop shot, but his position's already known, and Seawads can chop him down through the smoke. A great job there from St. Clair to just realize what they have in terms of positioning from Cootie being able to stay alive there, and they took advantage onto Manny when they had that 3v1, and it turned into a great round for St. Clair. So, good job from them. Three all so far. Anyone's game, but right now, let's see if Oklahoma Christian can mount a response. Cootie gonna be Big the first nade. one to get a nade down onto Cruz, and Cootie picking up right where he's left off. A beautiful start again for the Saints as they've, they've got a bit of momentum going here and it is Oklahoma who need to push the attack down a member. It's going to be so, so hard. Rupert finds a second pick. Should try to get out with his life and does do so. Saints have a 4-2 scenario as Oklahoma are crumbling right between our eyes. It would take a miracle now for them to pick this round up as Saints are holding down all of the angles. Only 45 seconds left and with a bomb all the way in spawn. Manny is just going to be sitting here waiting for someone from the Saints to make a mistake but I feel like if Saints just play it a bit more passively and safely, there's no way they can lose this round. Right, I mean, Prada almost just lost his life there as well. So again, they're having to play very careful, but Prada trying to get aggressive. He's going to try to make a play, but he's going to pay for Another it. Another clean ace. being watched. And now Oklahoma Christian falling down. It's going to be St. Clair who take the lead four to three, mounting an incredible comeback from the start of the game. Yeah. From what I, from what I was going to say, honestly, Theo, uh, you look at the first two rounds, you think, wow, man, on to control we go. But no, it's never over till it's over. St. Clair showing us just that as they mount the comeback. And right now they have the lead. Yeah, they can't get too overconfident. A couple things I want to point out. That was eight yep. straight kills for the Saints. Rupert, I think, is one kill away from a kill streak. And yeah. Yes. I think kill streaks were a huge, huge part of why they won that first map. I think definitely swung the f uh, favor in uh, there. Uh, part, but now I think if Rupert and Cootie can find a couple picks here and get those missiles online, that could really, really open up this game. And if they can take this round with a kill streak or two, next round should be relatively easy. Well, again, like we said, especially in SD, I mean, that Pred missile One clears kill. out any power position as well that Oklahoma Christian go down. Yes, it's one kill, and that is amazing. But when you can clear it a power position that the player is sitting in as well, I mean, oh man, it just opens the floodgates for everything, right? So again, we'll see what goes down. Gunfights coming in left and right, but so far no casualties aboard just yet. However, I think that's going to change with Gus here. He has a stun on one, and no, it should have been a pick, but however, it will be Cruz who finds one on Cootie. So again, Gus able to just get away and make sure that he plays his life. Smart play there from Gus. Probably should have had a pick there, but again, it doesn't really matter because so far, Oklahoma Christian have found the result that they've wanted. With 30 seconds left, the Saints are going to have to rush this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a rough around here for the Saints. I think Rupert should just try and find that kill streak. Nacho, though, finds one, but Rupert does fall, doesn't get that kill streak, which could have been so, so crucial. And all the kills going Oklahoma's way as they take the round. Saints waiting way too long to push a site there, and you could see they just kind of fell apart. Well, it was just tough. Like, you can't, some of these power positions you just can't quite clear out not yet having the pred missiles and now they won't even come into fruition of course because they weren't claimed yeah. so again on the side of Oklahoma Christian that might be the biggest round so far because they not only shut down the pred missiles uh, potentially right they shut down the Saints they tie things up one all and that's got to be a mentally great round on the side of Oklahoma Christian hopefully they can build something off of that as now they get into the attacking side yeah, let's see what they can get done on the attack here. Three streak for Cruz now. Also maybe sneaking up on a kill streak here. But it's going to be the defense for the Saints. They've been way stronger on the defensive side of the map, I have to say so. So it's definitely their strong point. Rupert in a bit of a dangerous position. Has been doing, do, doing so much work in this position for the entire map. There's three members ready to peek him. I don't think Rupert wants to take that challenge. Does get a bit of poke off. Force out an aid. Prada is holding this one down with the AR. I don't think 
it's gonna be an easy swing there for anybody. Prada making a lot of room here, gets taken down to such low HP, but the kill won't come through. Gus throws that Semtex, almost finds the opening pick, gets taken down to 46 HP. So many low health bars, but nobody going down at the start of the map, and Gus has a huge, huge flank on a couple of Saints members here, who are gone super deep into the spawn. Pick up Cruz in the spawn. Saints now have the 4v3. Prada gets taken down to low HP as well. Is able to stay alive. Moves over toward mid. It looks like A will be the choice of the bomb site as Rupert falls down. The plant is going down and it is down. Now Saints have 40 seconds to bring this one back. Prada finds yet another one doing God's work here as Saints gave up A completely but Nacho will find another pick. 2v2 situation now. Kuri finds one more. Now Saints have the 2v1. Has to stay alive here. It's only Prada. Needs to find the ace and Kuri will pick wow. that one up. A huge flank from the Saints. Pays off as they put themselves on map point. Kuri have a day. I mean, wow, every time you think there's somewhat of a potential of the Saints to throw around in the water, or maybe Oklahoma Christian having their way, Cootie just comes out of the shadows and absolutely just opens the blinds on them, lets the sunlight in for St. Clair. And I mean, so far, that's kind of been the story of both series. He's just been absolutely electric throughout. And right now, it's going to be St. Clair who find themselves on match point in what is going to be the closest S&D game I've seen so far this season and probably will see for a little while. Yeah, let's see if the Saints can get anything done on the offense. I think they've only won one offensive round. They've really struggled on this side of the game. Maybe I'd like to see them switch it up maybe go for a full a push but on this map it's not so easy manny will be holding up close here with that rival nine waiting for anyone to head into sites ruper will be taking a bit of a wider swing now and now they might know that manny's right here they have no idea ruper falls and nacho wow. falls as well that's a round winning play from manny finds two and saints just on this attack seems like they have no idea on what to do right i mean that was it right there uh if, if the saints bring it back from here it's going to be uh, just an astronomical level throw from Oklahoma Christian. They should have this round in the bag. I'm definitely not trying to unintentionally cast or curse them right now. But St. Clair, it's really a rough opener, right? I mean, a pick that you would think hopefully would get traded, but no, the level changed just enough from the prone to catch the player off. But now Prada trying to do some more damage. Stun goes in. Is he aware of the second player from the Saints? No, not quite, but he gets that That's stun indicated. Nade. The nade comes in from Cruz off of the stun. It's a great job there from Oklahoma Christian. They clean house and they tie it all up, 5-5. Five, five. When's the last time you've seen something like this, Theo? Not a long time ago. Let's see who gets the defense and attack. I think if Saints get the attack, they are in a bit of trouble, but if they get the defense, they definitely have the upper hand. And let's see, final round. Everything on the line here as close of SND as you can get. And it looks like it's going to be Saints on the defense and it's going to be Oklahoma okay. on the attack. I mean, if there was ever a time to bring it home, Saints, it's right now. And can you imagine going up 2-0 on the series to Oklahoma Christian? I certainly didn't think that if that was going to happen, it was going to be a possibility. I thought it was going to be 1-1, but yes, again, the round is not over. Any man's game, let's see what happens right now. Tension's high, blood boiling. And right now, the Saints, Cootie's going to be in probably the most important position. Has the stun as well. He knows that there's one inside of this freezer. Has the nade just to try to bail out some time. Minute left remaining. Right oh. now, it's going to be Peaks onto the bomb. They now know Cootie's position, but Cootie knows Manny's as well. Manny, backing up, has to try to find this opener, but he's not going to have anything go his way just yet. No one giving him an inch. Right now, it's just a complete stalemate. And right now, it's going to be first pick that is the most important in this series. Absolutely, 40 seconds and left. It is Oklahoma who have to make the first push. Rupert does get stunned up. Is going to get pushed around the side here. No, it does not get pushed there just yet. Prada looks around the corner. Can't find anything. 30 seconds and counting. It looks like the A push will be going here. Rupert finds one. Does get traded out though in the end. But Saints rotating over. Kuri gets taken down to one HP. Will be able to stay alive. The plant is going down at A bomb. And it's going to be a retake needed here for the Saints as Kuri falls down for Gus. Nacho is taken down to one HP. Will be forced to rotate out but is going to be getting flanked from behind and Saints kind of falling apart here as Nacho falls. It's going to be a 1v3 now for Siwaz. Finds one but does get traded out and that's going to be the map going over to Oklahoma Christian make it a 1-1 series. Right, I mean 
an absolutely beautiful job there on the attack from Oklahoma Christian. It felt like a deadlock for so long there. And honestly, I was thinking, when is that first pick going to come through on the side of Oklahoma, uh, or Oklahoma Christian or St. Clair? And we see very reserved from Oklahoma Christian really taking their time with the attack, making sure that they can just find little nooks and crannies to be able to get their guns into. And they were able to take advantage of the holes in St. Clair's defense. So right now, a great job from Oklahoma Christian. We go down uh, to 1-1 one, one right now in the series into the next control map. It's going to a minimum of four, best of five, and we will be right back with control after this short break.
Welcome back, Saints Nation. Here we go on control on Krejci. And now it's going to be St. Clair College, Oklahoma Christian. And let's see who comes back on top of this one. So, so far, from what we've seen from our Saints, a great job of using every part of the control elements, the time, the picks, the progress. But so far, it's going to be Oklahoma Christian progress on a Siwa is going to get the first blood the dance around the sandbags and it's going to be Cruz to come on top of it yeah but still a good start for the Saints they get a couple early picks to stop the Aposh push from coming in immediately Siwa's in a prime position here finds one knows there's a second right behind him Nacho going to be there to pick it up it's a great start for the Saints only one tick given up on A and a lot of time burned Kuri does fall down but it's going to be a B push now coming out from Christian the definitely the harder site to find but they do have a great great setup on that one and they find any picks no it's gonna be all Oklahoma Christian in the kill feed and it looks like this B site might just go uncontested from the Saints they gave up a one tick already second tick gonna be coming through in just a second and yeah Saints gonna completely concede this one they're gonna try and defend the A site which is way harder to do right I mean again a great job there from Oklahoma Christian Saints just not able to get their strapped in they got to strap up their bootstraps though because right now they need to mount a comeback see what's going to do just that cuts down manny gus able to find the top of the situation of the board sorry with cootie being chopped down and as picks go back and forth punch counter punch right now you have to look at that control so far and a i believe it is going to be Oklahoma Christian who already have a tick onto that A yeah. site. So again, if you're St. Clair, you have to watch out. Despite having the life advantage, this this progress could very well be the thing that kind of gets the gets Oklahoma Christian the first round. As they try to keep control of it, the timer is going to continually stop. And if St. Clair they let this kill deficit, this life deficit go back down slowly but surely, Oklahoma Christian they're climbing back second up. Tick. And just like that, they have that second tick. Big shot from Seawads though will turn things around. Nacho though takes down Seawads and the rest of the Saints fall and looks like that's going to be the first round going over to Oklahoma Christian. Kuri does go in there for a second but does fall down. Yes, very, very easy attack for Oklahoma Christian. They kind of just snuck into that B site, took the site and A site is just way too hard to defend. Right, I mean, at the, at the same time for St. Clair, that's the one thing you got to realize is, wow, they really just swept the rug under, from under our feet, and we can't let that happen again. So, again, a very good round so far from Oklahoma Christian taking the lead so far in control. Yeah, Saints now on the attack, which is known to be the harder side, really put themselves in quite a ditch after dropping the first one. Now they're going to look to turn things around on the attack. Wonder if they're going to go for a similar strategy of just sending all four members to that B side. You could see the side of Oklahoma Christian are not expecting anyone to go to that B side as all Saints are going in through mid, trying to take full control of A. Rupert will find the opening frag. Nacho finds the second. It's a great start to the round for the Saints here. If they can pick up Gus that should be a lot of progress made and it looks like Saints are gonna follow that same strategy they will get over on to be they do lose a member in the process though so it won't be as clean as they want nice trophy system usage there as Manny tries to peek up here Cruz finds Seawads however Saints do get one take on this B side Rupert finds the trade in a beautiful position Rupert finds a second but then Nacho and Kuri do fall down however Rupert finds a third trying to kill them all on his lonesome picks up the pistol and is not gonna be able to find a Prada with a big shot to shut him down. Wow, I mean, Rupert, have a day. I, I know it didn't end up being the quad, but I mean, how much do you want the man to do? Right now, Prada finding one on a cootie. However, the trades are coming through from Rupert. Yet again, call his name, and he shows up big time for St. Clair. Yeah, I mean, Saints struggling on this attack even after all the progress they made so far, but that leaves A site completely open. I think Saints should definitely start getting some time onto that one as it's Oklahoma Christian fully committed on defending this B site and they're getting kills left and right. Surprised the Saints haven't started on that A site. There is Nacho just sitting here. We'll pick up that kill into Prada and I think that's going to be the goal sign for the Saints to get on this A site. They've made so much pressure on B site that this opens up the A site so easily. Right, I mean, with 25 seconds left, they can just stop the time, build progress, play the lives now as they come. So, Oklahoma Christian, you're down now, but you're not out. Cruz and Gus, they're going to flip the script completely, actually. And now they have St. Clair oh, all under their control. Cootie, though, with a massive double, and that's going to give St. Clair a lot of leeway.
away, and now Cruz, a huge Semtech on, on, on to see wads, and any pick right now is absolutely massive when you look at the amount of time left. However, that second tick on A for St. Clair is huge, and we'll see how much Oklahoma Christian have in the tank. Yeah, see wads with a beautiful angle, gets the damage down, the cap will come through on A site. Now it's gonna be, what can the Saints get done on this B site? Lives are practically identical as Rupert gets meleeed. It's another one that Cruz finds with the melee there. Nice job from him there. But now Saints are going to be going for the full-on flank here. Cootie finds a big pick onto Cruz. That's going to give a lot of space for the Saints to work with. But Goss with a double kill does get traded out by Nacho. But still, 10 lives to 10 lives. This round couldn't be any closer. Right, I mean, St. Clair now. You just got to play patient. You're up on life advantage with 54 seconds left. You have oh, time nice shot, Rupert. Side. Rupert with one. Does he know about the player? Oh, no, but he's going to find the headshot to at least grab the double before he gets traded back out. A huge play, and that could nice, be round changing for the side of St. Clair. They're going to be now six down to, to six. six, and now they even lose advantage. 5-5. Five five. Five, five. It's anyone's game. Yeah, Rupert does get taken down. The trades are just a little bit better from Oklahoma Christian there, but now it's a four on four. Every single kill matters, and now Saints gonna look to find the opening pick. Cruz has a good angle, but it's gonna be a couple pick going over to Oklahoma Christian. Now it's gonna be just Rupert Nacho in a 2v4, and it's gonna be Rupert left in the one on four scenario here. Climbs up, will find a kill. What? If he finds the rest of these in the next 10 seconds, the round would be going over to the Saints, but it is Oklahoma Christian yet again just squeezing every single bit of life out of the Saints as they take the 2-0 lead. Right, it seems like Oklahoma Christian are really building off of that S&D win. The momentum is going to be absolutely insane for them right now. On up two on control. I mean, I haven't really necessarily seen the Saints go down 0-2 on control, I don't think ever before uh, since I've been here. So again, not a scoreline I'm used to seeing, but Oklahoma Christian, they're really proving why they're that number one seed right now. And it's all coming off the back of Cruz and Prada, in my opinion. Those two have just been so consistent every single game so far for Oklahoma Christian. The really big hard hitters picking up the frags when they matter most, and Oklahoma Christian's riding that wave. Yeah, Cruz definitely putting on the show for us, but Rupert starts the round off with a couple picks. A couple of trades do come back through, but Nacho will find Prada. It's good for the defense, but yet again, somehow, Oklahoma Christian have already made their way to that B site, and yes, right. there's only one member there, but just because there is only one member, Saints will send a couple to deal with that one member. They will get him, but look at the positioning of Oklahoma Christian. They're yep. in the spawn of the Saints, looking to push towards this B site. It's gonna be all on Rupert here. Can he find one? Yes, he does. Doesn't find the second. Couple kills do come through for Oklahoma Christian. All the kills come through for Oklahoma Christian. They're gonna be able to find this B site and start ticking up the ticks. Right, I mean, like you said, the Saints having to deal with that one player who oh somehow stuck their way into B is going to flip the map on St. Clair. It's a great job from Oklahoma Christian, a masterclass one might even say so far. And as it is going to be Cootie off the top ropes to pick one off, Rupert and Nacho finding one as well. That's Nacho good. a second one through the wall. Nacho have a day. And right now, St. Clair, they're looking pretty okay on lives, but they got to start worrying about the control. Yeah, I mean, good kills coming up from the Saints, but the map rotations from Oklahoma Christian have been pretty clean, even though they only have a tick on each site. Still a lot of danger blooming here, Manny, alongside his teammate. But a couple kills go over to the Saints on the A site, and there's only 25 seconds left. Oklahoma right. Christian have a bit of desperation here to hear. They have to send a couple members towards this B site and a couple towards A. They will try and capture B, but there's Cootie picking up one. Will be to stay alive for the time being. Can they find the second member who's still alive here? It's going to be Prada finding a one. Manny is on that B site, finds Cootie, and will start that cap on that B site. Let's see how Saints play the retake. This is a crucial part of the game. Seawads finds a one on this B site. Two things that would be captured. It's all or nothing for both sides on his B side. Nacho find the first one, Kuri finds wow. the second, and that's gonna be Saints more than likely taking this round, but there's still gonna be one for a hole for Oklahoma Christian. They're gonna get on this A site. Let's see what C Watts can do. He finds a one, zero he finds point a second. Kuri finds a second pick. All they need to do is just clear them off this capture zone one more time. They take the round, but the second tick has been captured. It's gonna be a couple aggressive pushes, but it's gonna be Oklahoma winning the team fight, and with 0.3 seconds left, I think they're gonna get the cap onto A. Now only one tick away from taking the map. Absolutely massive. That might be one of the biggest plays through so far seven in the series. Lives. And with seven lives, so they have to be careful. Like I said, you know, again, having that time is big. They can afford to 
now try to go for that second cap, but with seven lives to do so, they have to be so damn careful. St. Clair on the back of the side with 12. They have a lot of fodder, I am gonna go ahead and say, to deal with. They have lives they can throw away, but you just wanna make sure they don't go down without some sort of pressure being on Oklahoma Christian. You gotta make them work for their money. Right now, 27 seconds left, and if Oklahoma Christian lets this go down, yeah, it is kill. going to be from lives. St. Clair, they're able to find one, give them two for a matter of fact. This is most likely going to be it. As Oklahoma oh, Christian wall have bang. no respawns remaining. A huge wall bang there from Manny to try to get them back on the board, but it's going to be too little, too late, unless Oklahoma Christian can try to flood the B site. More than likely not. The lives are going down. It's going to be St. Clair picking up yet another, well, their first oh. round. However, the contest comes in. I thought for a second, maybe, that you know, maybe, been. maybe, Dangerous. what could have been. But no, they would have had to deal with the respawns. Positions more than likely called out. No, not enough trophies to go down. Util would have just been taken. When you get with that much of a life difference, it really does start to matter. Those no respawns really do a number on you. Yeah. And again, with the Saints being able to pull off the 4v2 for what would have been the rest of the game, it would have been almost near impossible for Oklahoma Christian to win that third round. However, still on match point is Oklahoma Christian. St. Clair, they found an answer for one round, but they still have to rebound to try to tie this one up. Yeah, Saints gonna have a lot of work to do here to get themselves back in this game. Looking for the reverse sweep, Manny will be running up here with that rival nine. Goes out of flash. Rupert finds the opening pick onto Prada. Man, he's gonna jump up here. I think there's a player right next to him. Ring around the rosy action and Seawads gets the better of him there. Rupert finds another one to cruise. Saints flooding into this A site. A way more aggressive start for them here on this attack. Right, I mean, I like what I'm seeing so far out of St. Clair. I like that they have that aggression, right? I mean, sometimes we've seen that so far, it's actually been Oklahoma Christian who, if anything, are mounting the aggression. And it's been off the back of plays from Prada and Cruz. Right now, it is going to be St. Clair who are trying to keep things sturdy. But with Oklahoma Christian, it's early game right now. Lives not really a factor so far just yet. And right now, if anything, you're looking at the control so far from St. Clair on that A site. Yeah, St. Clair trying to get something going. That's a huge pick by Cootie, but Nacho does get traded out. Siwaz, though, picks up Cruz. Another trade comes out as Cootie falls down, but Saints are making some progress on this A-side. Looking to get the second tick. Looks like he will be able to do so. Manny, though, will rush in and finds the headshot onto Rupert. The trade comes through. The capture point didn't come through. Siwaz looking for that six streak. That will be a kill streak. He can pick that one up, but no. Prada will find that kill. Still a second tick captured by the Saints as they look to get a this A capture for Rupert finds one, does get traded out. Rupert finds a second, wow. but all the Saints have fallen down. Oklahoma Christian, just clean house. Right, I mean, because of that, they can just start defending and just working that meter down even more. And because they have the life advantage as well, they can just try to let this time play out. I get it, it's only by two, but with the time being down to 20 seconds, St. Clair, they have to make plays, and it's just not happening right now. Oh, Prada's it. got five. The team wipe comes in. Manny, have a day. And right now, if this does stand correct, it should be almost 99% certain yep, that it. Oklahoma Christian are going to take control. They're going to take the series lead, and they're going to be on series point. That's a great map from Oklahoma Christian. Absolutely flawless attack, and on the defense, just look impenetrable. They take it, the map three to one, and they go up to one in the series. Now they're going to be on hard point. The only game mode where Saints found success so far. Saints going to need a lot of work to do in this next map to get themselves back in the series. Right, but I mean, if there's any place where the Saints are going to be able to mount a comeback, it's going to be on yeah, hard points. Absolutely. So again, you know, we might very well be seeing this one go to all five. We don't know, though. Oklahoma Christian, they're riding off of a strong wave right now off the last two games. But like I said, it ain't the same game mode anymore. So, like anything, both these teams probably locking in, imagining it's probably 2-2 last map. No matter what, you gotta fight as if it is. Yeah. St. Clair, one of the best hard point teams so far in collegiate, but we will see who's gonna be able to take the advantage. Is it gonna be Oklahoma Christian taking the series 3-1, or are the Saints gonna force a map five? We'll be right back with you to find out that answer after this short break.
Welcome back, everybody. We're just underway in map four here. St. Clair Saints against Oklahoma Christian. 2-1 advantage to Oklahoma Christian after winning the last two maps. Putting themselves on match point, and we have a draw. <laughs> Yeah, I think this happens sometimes. I'm pretty sure the lobby just actually like collapsed. That's so they're probably going to have to reset it. Yeah, I'm looking right now on the bottom screen. So they're going to have to reset lobby. Unfortunately, this does happen with COD uh, sometimes. But again, we'll have to pass it to another short break in order to find out the result of that. They're probably going to have to break apart the lobby and try again. So again, we're going to find out this answer soon. Is it going to be Oklahoma Christian taking the series or is it going to be St. Clair forcing a map five? We'll be right back shortly after another break. on hard point. It's going to be Cootie with the first blood. Prada to be able to find Rupert, but Cootie's on a double right now, running rampant. St. Clair, Oklahoma Christian. St. Clair with the first hard point cap and the first five on the board. And Cootie starts off the game with three straight kills for the Saints here. Great, great start for them. Cootie does fall down, but Cloud's going to find a couple. Does get traded out. Rupert now going to find that pick on a Prada and Saints. Starting off hard point with a bang like they always do. Going to take the early lead, take the middle of the map as they continue to Amount of the pressure here. Nice kill from Nacho on to go up there. Prada looking for something, but Rupert finds one. Prada takes down Nacho, but does get traded out by Seawads. The Saints, a flawless start to the map. Rupert gonna find one more, able to get alive. Seawads on a four streak, very close to those kill streaks. Now on a five streak, one more kill needed. I think that was a big momentum swinger in the first map, those kill streaks. If Saints can get some more on this hard point, I think that's gonna be the way they win. And sadly, Seawads is gonna get cut short just one kill of what would have been, but. St. Clair now with a great start, and they have yet more hard point control. The slide around the door, it's gonna be Cootie, he's gonna get cut down, but Seawads with the refrag from the nade. Yeah, and it looks like Gus has gone completely ballistic, getting a couple kills there, does get traded out, but Saints still in control of the hard point. That's a huge, huge stun. Seawads on one HP, does find the pick around the corner, will get shot in the back. Saints alive for a little bit too long there. The trades coming out left and right. Saints definitely playing this map like they don't have any much more to lose taking every single gunfight and they're completely slaughtering Oklahoma to start off the map. I mean, they don't. That's probably the number one thing Zaren was really telling them was like, hey, look, we're back on hard point, but we got to play this like it's our last because it is. Guess what, guys? I know you aren't put in this position a lot of the times, but you got to call upon your players right now to really play as if it's game seven because this is their game seven. We'll see how they take it. And now, Oklahoma Christian trying to find any sort of way back into this hard point. Whips out the Renetti is on the side of Gus. Can he find the kill? Yes, he can. Slides into Nacho, though, on the spawn. Nacho going to be able to relieve Gus of his duties. However, with the triple kill, Gus has created more than just a gap for Oklahoma Christian to take advantage. And right now, they hold hard point until further notice. I mean, Saints get a couple trades back, but Manny finds three there with wow. one mag, and Crew is going to fall. Oh, up. Find the team kill as Manny on a five kill streak, one kill away from that kill streak, as we were saying. Will be crucial for Oklahoma Christian. We haven't had any kill streaks 
entire series does, does get taken out, but there it is. Manny a has a skill streak and he could get way more if he continues this spree. He's been on. Prada gets a second one, and just like that, this blink of an eye. The Oklahoma Christian are right back into this game. Right, I mean, Siwon shuts down Manny, but not before that Pred Missile. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, the greatness of a Pred Missile on Hardpoint, the, the, why it's so good is because it can clear a power position, clear a player off that point, and can allow you to basically have a free pick in pocket. So right now, if used right, it is going to be Oklahoma Christian who try to take advantage. They've now recaptured the lead on Hardpoint, despite the Saints' great start so far. And even though they're hosting, they're really showing the Saints as they are on away now on server that this is not going to be an easy fight. Absolutely, Oklahoma Christian doing a great job so far of coming back into this game. And the shots are coming through. Cootie finds a pick onto Gus. A couple pick for the Saints here. Cruz, though, on the flank. Finds one Prada, finds a second, but a nice trade from Cootie and OC Was. They're going to clear out the members of Oklahoma Christian. They should be able to take the lead back here. It's going to be one final contest here from Oklahoma Christian. But you can see at Nacho Slayer all the way across the map conceding these trades. Yes, it's two for two, two for three, but they have the setup for the next hard point. Right, I mean, again, Oklahoma Christian, they're just looking to stand strong, putting down the trophy systems, making sure no stuns or utility can enter the way of Oklahoma Christian's defense. New hard point right now, though, and as both sides rotate, there it is, Oklahoma Christian taking Infinity Pool. They have a great defensive swap, but now it is going to be St. Clair. We're able to find the first couple of picks. Ooh. Rupert and Cootie, they're able to take back some dominance, and now it is contested. However, it is going oh, to be Prada, uh. Manny, on the side of Oklahoma Oklahoma Christian, they've done it time and time again. And right now, they're just proving why they are that number one seed. They take control yet again from St. Clair's grasp, and they're building more points as the time ticks down. Yeah, after such a strong start for the Saints, they've kind of halted a bit, but now Siwa's trying to turn things around, finds a couple nice headshots there. Saints will get a bit of garbage time here. Cootie doing a lot of damage to himself through those trophies, yeah. but does not go down. Saints gonna get these last 10 seconds and put themselves at 99 points, I believe. It's gonna be very, very close to tying up this game. A couple more seconds as we go to Oklahoma Christian as they found the garbage time. But all the kills are going to Oklahoma Christian in this exchange. Wow. The good spawns are here for the Saints, so let's see how they can get onto the side. Kuti finding a huge kill there as the rest of the reinforcements are coming in. Can see was find that kill onto Manny Cruz. Does find one before he falls down. Manny does fall down, as I said. That was gonna be the crucial pick, as now Saints gonna yep. blow this one open and look to take the lead back. Right, I mean, honestly, looking at it, when the point opened up, I thought Manny and uh, Gus had some of the two most important picks so far because it left the Saints having to be staggered. It looked like the Saints were honestly rotated first and had control of that point, but then Oklahoma Christian were able to clear them off. However, St. Clair retaking that control right now. Gus stuck to win rock in a hard place, swings on to one, but he's going to be taken down from the off angle. And right now, Cruz able to find Cootie, but Seawatch trades him back out. Yeah, nice pre-fire there from Cruz. Gets a lot of damage down onto Siwas. The trade comes out almost a tie game here as the next hard point is going to spawn in. It's going to be Oklahoma Christian with all of the control. Saints haven't done the best job of retaking so far, but need to turn their fortunes around here. Prada finds the opening pick here, and the Saints are dropping like flies. Gus going to look for the third kill with a pistol here. Gets it there. It's only Nacho left alive, and it's... He's in the spawn of Oklahoma Christian, which forces them to spawn in the middle of the map. Not sure with an insanely crucial position there in the spawn, which gives the Saints a chance at this hard point. Nacho finds one, Siwas finds one as well. Rupert does get taken out by Manny. Gus finds one as well. Only one versus one on the point. There's gonna be Nacho winning that one out. Saints are gonna take control of this hard point. And this is a huge swing of the game right now. If Saints can maintain this control for the last 20 seconds, they are right back into the swing of things. Oklahoma Christian letting to try to not make them do this, that. They're going to be able to clear them off the hard point. The Saints now having to reposition over to where they think the next one's going to be. Bottom of the map is going to be your answer right there. But these are crucial seconds and crucial points that are going to add up for Oklahoma Christian. They've run away with a nice sweep there on that hard point. Yeah, they extend their lead, but it is going to be Saints who start off on this hard point. Cootie finds the open pick. They can keep these kills rolling. They can get right back into this one. Nothing going for Oklahoma Christian here on this recontest. But finally, Maddie gets a pick onto Cootie in the middle of the map. But on the flip side, Seawads finds one onto Cruz. Does fall down, but that's a nice kill. Got. There's a kill streak coming out for Maddie. Does find one. Prada finds a second. And now Oklahoma Christian have gotten to the side. They have completely wiped the Saints.
Right, I mean, Manny and Prada are having an absolute day right now, especially Prada. He's been so consistent. Honestly, everyone in Oklahoma, Christian, despite the deaths, I mean, Gus and Cruz, yeah, negative, but they're still putting up picks as now Gus makes himself even with that headshot. Look at the objective time from the side of Oklahoma, Christian. Almost every player over 50 seconds right now and counted up right there, and now we're looking to get everyone over a minute. Prada with a double of his own. Siwa is able to chop, chop down Cruz but it is going to be Ruper who needs to make the difference. He does just that. Seawad's cutting the head off of another one, and right now the Saints looking good. They need to try to take this retake. There's not going to be many other opportunities left, though, because right now as the hard point swaps over, yes, they do have control, but Oklahoma Christian's still in the lead. They can't really give up much more. Yeah, Saints do or die here, Manny. That's a cute, crucial pick onto Ruper, and there goes Prada. Finds it onto Nacho as well. Gus does get taken down, but Cruz finds Cootie. It's going to be the hard point yet again, controlled by Oklahoma as they're just 50 seconds away from taking the series away from the Saints and counting. Manny has this angle here, does get taken out by Nacho, but the trades from Prada and Cruz are just too much for the Saints to deal with Prada. Wow. Going absolutely crazy alongside Cruz. Combined seven streak here, finally they shut down Cruz, but 2.11 seconds and counting for Oklahoma. They're gonna be very, very close to closing out the map on this hard point, but next hard point is gonna be all sheer with the Saints. Right, I mean, this has got to be one of the most impressive series so far that I've seen from a rival school from St. Clair. And now Oklahoma Christian, they've just impressed me so much so far today. And regardless of how this series ends up, I really haven't seen a school take to the Saints like this before. And right now, Oklahoma Christian proving their worth. The hard point switches back up. But right now, this is going to be all she wrote. Count them down, ladies and gentlemen. We got 12 more points left to claim, 11 and 10. Now to go. And St. Clair, they need to make a mount onto this point. They need to contest it, but even then, they need to contest almost the next three hard points. And as Oklahoma Christian have this final contest in the doorway sealed off, it's going to be all she wrote. Oklahoma Christian have completed the 3-1. It's a great job there from Oklahoma Christian. They take the series, and wow, what a series it was. Such So close, back and forth, punch, counter, punch action. Oklahoma Christian come up on top. Yeah, great job from Oklahoma there. They just kind of suffocated the Saints and you know maybe a bit of fatigue showing there from the Saints playing back-to-back -back series. Yep. Started off hot, but I think that heartbreaking search and destroy 6-5 loss yeah. might have gotten to them a little bit and Oklahoma just used that momentum beautifully. They are the one seed for a reason. They take it in a very, very close 3-1 and uh, you know, Saints go 1-1 one one on the day and having a very close w a series with the number one seed. Definitely nothing to look down on, but I think a lot they can improve on. Right, I mean, again, it is going to, I'm just reflecting based off of what you said. That 6-5 on SND, oh, so chalking. And then it goes on to the control and... Again, we see the Saints just going down uh, the first round. I or believe they took the first round, but then eventually Oklahoma Christian just mounted the comeback and just swept it away. So, again, great job there from Oklahoma Christian, proving why they are the number one seed so far in NACE. Their mental is absolutely just still proven. There's nothing that can get through them, and they've definitely proven to be quite the monsters of NACE so far as they take it 3-1 to St. Clair. That is going to be all the time we have for tonight, though. And again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watching. Thank you to the guys in the back room, short staff. It's just going to be Gabriel and Matthias. Thank you for Ari, who came in to observe Val and uh, Valorant over on the Saints Gaming CA2 channel, I believe, if I'm yeah. correct. Check out that, that VOD if you guys don't want to miss some insane Valorant against Maryville. That was a great series. And uh, again, thank you to everyone who's watching. Thank you, Theo, for joining me <laughs> on the desk. Thank, Thank you to sponsors. our sponsors. I was going to get to that. Mm -hmm. on, su on the side of Subway, Tim Hortons, SRC, SEC alumni, and Alienware. also Alienware. Yeah, Can't forget them. Thank you guys for watching. It's been me, Theo, alongside Patrick. It's been a great, great day of Call of Duty today. We're going to be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. for some Valorant action. So thank you guys for watching and have a good night.